Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision back with some more modding for 1.16. Now in this episode, we're gonna be covering how to update your mappings for Forge. And because this episode is so short, there will be another episode coming out almost immediately after this one goes live. And that will be on entities and custom mobs. So definitely stay tuned for that. But in this episode, what we're gonna do is show you how to update your mappings. So if you don't know what mappings are, essentially, uh, let's find an example of one. So um, you'll, you'll remember from a while back when we made our mod armor material here, when we updated to 1.16, we had this new function here, this new method uh, that related to knockback resistance. However, we didn't have the actual name of the function. You can see in the actual um, class that we implement here, iArmor Material, the interface, the function is, uh, you could call it obfuscated. Um, we call it in the Forge community, unmapped. So uh, essentially what this means is we just don't know what the, the function is named, but uh, and, and sometimes that makes it hard for us to know what the actual functionality is because obviously this name right here is not very telling of what this function uh, or this method does. So by updating your mappings, what you're doing is you're converting these um, unmapped methods into mapped methods. So something like this could turn into like I would assume get knockback resistance or something that is actually useful. Uh, and there's a, a load of reasons why this uh, is the case. I'm not entirely sure. I think it has something to do with uh, Mojang having like copyright over their code or, or some legal reason. I'm not really sure. But if you want to update these, what you want to do is go to your build.gradle. And inside of here, there is a line right at the top, essentially, uh, called mappings. And you might remember us updating these when we updated to 1.16. I didn't touch on it that much, but uh, we did update them a little bit. And uh, what this is, is this is your mappings essentially, and it'll and Gradle will download them for you. Uh, but uh, the way you have you can read these, this is your version here. So this right here, uh, this number right here is going to be the uh, version of your forge. So in my case, it's 1.16.1. If you were on 1.15, this would say 1.15.2 for you. Uh, and then right here, this is the actual mappings version. So you can read this uh, version here. Let me just copy and paste it up here. Uh, what you actually are seeing here is a date. So if we just put slashes in between uh, where they're supposed to be, you can see here that we do actually get a date. So we have the year, we have the month, and then we have the day. So uh, these mappings are actually updated every single day with daily snapshots. So all you have to do is change this number uh, whenever you want updated mappings to the current day. So you can see today, this uh, essentially is uh, July, 7th 2020 but you can see if we go in the in the calendar here it is actually july 23rd 2020 right now so uh, i would want to change the day here to 23 instead of 7. so this would be july 23rd 2020. so that's what we're going to do here we want to change the 07 here to 23. And um, you, you can do this whenever you like. Um, they are snapshots, so they're not like stable per se, but um, I would recommend doing this uh, before every time you watch one of my modding tutorials. Otherwise, you might have unmapped methods that you won't be able to understand. Uh, but once you update this to the current day, and you make sure that this is uh, the correct version, you wanna come up to, again, this uh, little uh, reload button here. It's like a little elephant with a little circle reload button, and it's called Load Gradle Changes. Very important, you have to click this, and it will um, download the brand new mappings, um, essentially all of them. You can see here it's downloading the mappings, and uh, it will download them and install them. So once it's downloaded, you'll know because there's no more loading down here in the bottom uh, right corner. You can actually go to where your uh, old um, functions were. And you can see that this uh, method is no longer valid. And that's because we've updated this to uh, the new function, the new uh, name for the uh, the mapped uh, method. And if we actually go into the class here for iArmor Material, you can see it's now um, actually renamed to get knockback resistance. So we have actually updated our mappings. So what you have to do now, every time you update your mappings, I know it's super annoying, but every time you update your mappings, you have to go through your whole mod, and you have to find wherever there are errors because um, uh, your fun or your methods, I keep saying functions, uh, for whatever reason, I'm thinking in JavaScript, uh, but uh, you, you have to make sure all of your methods are updated. So uh, we need to change this to get knockback resistance. And we know that because again, um, it's that's what it was changed to up here. And if you if you don't know what it's uh, what it is, you could also just um, come up here, hover over the error, and it will say implement methods, and it'll say, oh, you need to add get knockback resistance. So there we go. It says right there. So 
we can just change this to, again, get knockback resistance. And I believe there's one more method that we had so far that was unmapped. One of the ways if you don't see any errors right away is if you run your game with uh, uh, your little run menu here, uh, it will actually display the errors. So what we can do is we can run the game and let's wait for it to finish building. And there we go, it tells us the error right away. It actually directs us immediately to the class here. So it seems like uh, we have an unmapped method in mod client events and it's right here. And uh, you know, lucky for me, I have it written out here above, but in most cases you won't have this luxury. So if you have a method like this that's unmapped, uh, but now it's been mapped and you need to replace it and you don't know what it is, what you can do is you can copy this uh, method here, copy the name and then go to the link in the description to this Excel spreadsheet uh, that is uh, really helpful. It's got pretty much every single unmapped method uh, and it's uh, they're slowly forges adding the uh, the mapped name. So what you can do is you can again copy that uh, outdated method name, go to file, sorry edit, find and replace, paste it into find, hit find, and it'll take a few seconds because it's definitely a huge um, spreadsheet, uh, and it'll find it. So we can see right here that the name of this uh, this method here is get position. So there we go. We can just come up here and change it to get position. And there we go, all fixed. Uh, so now I can remove this um, this mapping note here. So yeah, there we go, we've updated all of our, our methods and now our mappings are fully up to date. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I wanna say that uh, because we have learned this in a video now, I will now fully expect that your mappings will be up to date to the latest version every time we uh, I release a new tutorial. So hopefully I won't have to remind you guys about like unmapped me uh, methods but uh, just keep that in mind. So definitely keep updating your, uh, your mappings whenever you can. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.